Hello YouTube. So I just wanted to do a video here showing the work in progress of my hard drive persistence of vision LED clock um, POV. Uh, so if you're aware, so what we have here is hard drive and you can see I removed everything, took out all the internals. I then uh, had to take out the uh, all the disks and cut a slot in one disk and then mounted that back in, uh, mounted it up high using the spacer so that it was top level. Underneath, there's uh, going around, is a LED strip. This is a 12 volt RGB LED strip. I think there's nine of them in that loop going around. And then, um, so let's look at the circuitry here. What we have, this is just a work in progress. So everything is wired up on breadboards. So controlling the brushless motor, the hard drive brushless motor, is a TDA 5140 IC uh, uh, BL, BLDC driver chip. I was controlling it before using my own uh, MOSFETs and um, just firing them off uh, in sequence to um, power the magnets and drag the spindle around in a circle and that was working. I just wasn't getting the speed I needed or wanted and um, right now with the uh, with the TDA chip I'm getting 4000 uh, rotations per minute. So to power the LEDs they're a 12 volt uh, strip. I'm using a ULN 2004 current sync driver. And um, as I said, because it's 12 volts coming into the system, the, the motor itself runs at about half that, five to five or six it's, uh, volts it's running good at. So I'm using a uh, LDO uh, step down uh, regulator. This is uh, currently just a full a full board version, but uh, this uh, you need something that's at least three amps thereabouts capable. Uh, just some circuitry to control this uh, LDO. Um, and then powering all that or driving all that is an Arduino Uno. Uh, right now I'm using the Uno for development. I will switch over to a Pro Mini and put the Pro, all the code and everything on the Pro Mini when it's done. And the intent will be to mount that in here somehow. And then for the chips and the rest of the circuitry, I'll be developing a little circuit board. We'll mount that in there to shape and to fit and put all the uh, all those components on there. And there will also be a real-time clock. It's a coin-operated RTC. Um, I'll wire that in so that the... Um, the clock itself can maintain its own clock when the power is off. So what does it do? How does it work? If if you haven't seen one before, they're pretty. They're pretty. Uh, it's a pretty nice effect. If you've seen one, then uh, you won't be surprised. But this will spin around. There is a hall sensor inside there. You can see it through the crack right there. It's a magnetic sensor. And so underneath the underside of this disc, there's a magnet. It's actually on this opposite side of the slot. So it's right here underneath. And so when it passes by the hall sensor, that generates an interrupt into the UNO. And so I'm tracking the revolutions that way. Every time there's a revolution, and I'm also timing the revolution. Now what happens is uh, in the code, I've, uh, I have an array of 256. So that's, that counts as, uh, we call that slots. So when you divide the time by the 256, you get the time to interrupt for each position, for 256 positions around one revolution. On an each, interrupt, each interrupt, depending on where the slot is, uh, you can fire a different color on the LED lights. So if it's in a position, say, for the big hand on the clock, you know, fire the color you want to show for the big hand. If it's the second, which is going to be moving around, you'll fire that color. Um, if it's uh, the other hand, you'll fire, because I'm using three different colors, and you don't know what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it before, so just hold short, and we'll see it in a moment. 
Um, and then also if it's not showing like any of the hands, then it uh, can just fire uh, whatever color you want to show for background. So one revolution, it'll fire background color. If it's in that big hand position, it'll fire the big hand color. If it's on uh, segmented, because uh, I'm showing 12 segments for the hours uh, all the way around, that's a white. Um, or it's showing, you know, any one of the three hands or the background color. What the heck is all that about? Why don't we turn it on and have a look? So as I said, I'm getting about 4,000 RPM right now. You can see the big hand right here, blue. Obviously the little hand, the hour hand, the green are over here. And so you can see the 12 uh, segments going around. It's not showing very well in the video, but it's a nice yellow, uh, goldy yellow in the background. So as I was trying to say, every time it goes around a loop, the hall sensor is triggered by the magnet. The Arduino is timing that, dividing that by 256, and it gets each uh, 256 slots calibrated around the disk. Each one of those fires, uh, there's a timer set up on the Arduino to, to fire for each one of those 256 slots, which is roughly, I think, is a four, somewhere in the 40, 50, 60 microseconds, We're down to the microsecond level. And then depending on what position the slot is in, for example, if the slot was right here, it would fire the blue color. If the slot was over here where the second hand is supposed to be, it would fire red. Um, or otherwise, you know, it's firing white color or it's firing a yellow blue background. As the slot moves around, it's going to fire whatever color it's in for that current position. And it does that 256 times per single revolution. I think that's a great effect. You would see, you know, there's, if you look through, uh, let's see if you can see here. If you, you, you can actually see all the LEDs going around the circle. And if you're over a color, then you can see, it's actually not showing very well in the video, but you could see the LED would show, um, you could see the three individual colors on the LED, red, green, or blue, depending, uh, depending on what color is over it. Like, you could see just the red there. It's not showing up very well on the clock, on the, on the, on the video, sorry. But it's very interesting in that, if you don't know what you're looking at, you would not realize this is a solid surface with just a single slot. Which creates an illusion you know, of an invisible surface almost with, with some light floating on on a smoky surface. It's a very nice effect. There's some um, um, kind of glitching being shown on it, but that's just from the video frame rate of the camera. That's not actually appearing though. In life. And like I say, it's a nice yellow hue. It's not showing up very well either, unfortunately. Once I get all my components mounted in, everything hooked up, then it might be a nice desk display unit or a wall display unit. So uh, that's it. Hope you like it. Uh, if you have any questions, um, uh, let me know.